What up, YouTube? Thank you for tuning back into the channel. Got a couple things going out today, but first, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, I'm a part-time reseller. I go to thrift stores, your sales, garage sales, all that good stuff. Try to find stuff for the low and sell it for a little bit higher on eBay, Etsy, platforms like that, all right? And if you like stuff like that, subscribe. Straight up. Straight up, you know what I'm saying? I say it every day. I say it every video, I mean, but for the new people, and I've been getting some new people here, that's what I do. And 40% uh, of y'all ain't even subscribed to the channel, so y'all don't know what's going on. But that's what I do. Got a couple things going out, like I said earlier. Let's get right into it. It's a Thursday, not too many. Um, first, I make socks, of course. So these socks is going out to, let me see the name real quick. Tyler. Tyler, I appreciate it. Made an error. It might benefit you, it might not. I'm gonna tell you the error here soon. I just noticed after I made the socks that she wanted the ADT and this logo mixed together into one socks. I made two pair of socks with them separate. I'm gonna, see them, I'm gonna send them to you. We figure it out later. I don't mind making another pair if I have to. That's just on my phone. Uh, got some Muhammad Ali joints. Somebody sent me a picture of Muhammad Ali. Nice. Okay, that's what's sold on my website. Now, eBay. We got, let me get my phone over here. Let me see what we got going on. Okay, the first thing I got going on is these earrings. These are some Trafari earrings for the y'all the who know about costume jewelry. Can you see that? It does very good. Uh, I got this in a buy a long time ago. I got so much jewelry that it's just kind of sitting. It's small, it's not taking enough room, so not taking up a lot of room, so I'm not really worried about it like that. But this stuff does good, man. I sold these for, I believe, 14. No, oh, I took a best off for $11.99. Plus shipping, the buyer's about $15 into it. But I've sold a pair of earrings for like, I had some dang ones. I sold one pair of costume jewelry earrings for $49 before and higher. So if you ever find some, especially if they're on cords like that, pick them up. Yes, sir. Next thing I got going out is this hat. If you watched my last video, y'all seen I just got this from my local store, Ben's store here, for $3. It sold for $20 plus shipping. Uh, I kind of lowballed that a little, well, I lowballed it. I kind of went under the market a little bit on that. I'm glad I did it so today. I'm just trying to get it and get it out. You understand? Made some profit there. Next thing I got is these gloves. These are, um, what are these? Wild Snow Ski Gloves, Galaxy. Uh, made by, I don't know, but here they go. I'll put the cup on the screen because it's a little dark in here. You can't really see. Oh, you go, you can see like that. I actually should have kept these. It's cold outside. These are actually 3M thin insulated. And we're supposed to get some snow today later on, supposedly. It's supposed to be a fairly, a fairly a good one. No, hold up. Okay, Google. Is this supposed to snow tonight or today? Tonight, there's a good chance of snow starting at about 6 p.m. You're supposed to tell me how much. Bruh. Okay, Google, how much snow are we getting today? It'll snow approximately 0 0.6 inches today. Oh, come on, man. 0 0.6, never mind, forget that what I said. 0 0.6 inches ain't enough to do nothing, but anyway. Well, that's today, maybe tomorrow. Hey, okay, Google, how much snow are we supposed to get tomorrow? No snow is expected tomorrow. Man, I ain't worried about that, man. Next thing that I got here is this. I just got this the other day, too. This is Weber grill attachment. It actually sold for $20 plus shipping. Got these going out. These are some microfiber floor dusters. I actually, look, this was one, it's crazy. This is one of the first things I bought. This might have been the first thing I bought along with some other stuff. I've been sitting for a while and for some reason they finally sold. I guess people need them when they need them. Uh, I got actually a bunch. I maybe got like, I don't know, 20 of these and I'm selling them in lots of twos. So for $16.99 plus shipping, hey, finally sold. I know all those pennies in the deeds. I, that's why I got so many because it didn't cost that much. You know, I, back in the day, when you first started eBay, you see a comp, you're like, it's going to sell, it's going to sell, but you don't look at that sold through. You don't know how many is listed compared to what's sold. You got to look at all that. Back then, I was just looking at what's sold. I didn't care if it was one, I was buying it. But now I'm a little smarter, you understand? 
Straight Sierra says 99208. Yeah. Peel that off. And put it right here. And put it on here, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, peel it off. Oh. I right, grab it. I oh, don't stick it to nothing. There you go. Put it on there. Boom. If you did this little part right here, every time I pack, this will help out so much. All right, just stick it down. No matter as long as it's on there. There you go. Boom. Good job. Why does it say Toro 2? <laughs> Respect. I guess we're getting at 0 0.6 inches. Hey, Google told me about it a little earlier. Bruh. Anyway, that was my boys a little earlier helping me. They like to help me with stuff, and I show them a little by little. Because guess what? They're going to be running the show here soon. They're going to be my little helpers. They're going to be, we're going to be killing it on eBay. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm going to wait to the office. Uh, Got to send a letter to. Shout out to Kayla. Kayla is over at the homeschooler, homeschooling picker. She's actually local, a local Kentucky brethren. Is it brethren if she's a woman? Brethren, sisterin, let's just say sisterin. I don't even know if that's Bruh. do people say that she's local. Me and her talked earlier, so I got something going to her. So, Kayla, it's on the way. Shout out to her also because our channel is growing like crazy. If you like stuff like mine, I always tell people she's the girl me because we just be saying stuff and we're goofy. And <laughs> I don't even know if she like me saying that, but you know, we do what we do. I don't know if it's a Kentucky thing or what, but shout out to her. She's going fast if you like videos like mine's i guess hers is a little different she thrifts a lot and she has booths set up and stuff like that and you'll learn a lot because she knows a lot also so go follow her even though she don't need any more subscribers she's been caught up with me and i'm oh, jealous come on man it's the only two things here that i gotta pull uh the first thing is two nintendo nes games wrestlemania and another wrestlemania let's see what we got here and guess what i'm getting a chef y'all Cause this is too high, man. Your boy can't keep reaching up here because I can't see nothing. It's good if it's here, but if I gotta reach back or something, it's a wrap. These two right here, WrestleMania and WrestleMania Challenge. And those two sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Second thing I got to go and last thing from here is, let me see, cause I got a couple of them. It's a vintage thermal. But I got a couple of them, so let me see which one actually. So, Vintage Solder Tuck Dry Goods Thermal. Let's see what we got going on here. Pull him out like so. And uh, not him. It's not him. It's him, I believe. Let me see. Uh, push him back in. Boom. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And that is it. And that's it. That's all I got from here. Uh, oh, it looks like Scott put some boxes up. It look a little nice over here. Shout out to Scott for straightening it up over here. Straight up. I appreciate you, my guy. Uh, I need to get on usps though get some more of these we had a bunch we almost had i gotta get some 1097s don't have no 1097s at all probably some more 1095 a little bit of everything and also i gotta get some more hmm i gotta get a little bit of everything so anyway so yeah i think i'm gonna list a couple things my my goal is to list a couple things every time i come over here uh i got stuff at home to list but i got stuff here to list as well and it's not all listed so like these adidas pants these are some vintage you can tell these is back in the day adidas pants kind of want to keep them myself they're my size you know and that's coming back it's coming back in style this adidas jacket that's not listed i i got pictures of this but i haven't listed this michelin jacket i got a burberry jacket i got from any states so i need to list all that so thinking about it. I might keep the beverage jacket too I don't know see that's the thing man when you get stuff like this sometimes you you want to keep everything
All right, so I end up having some mail. I had to go check the mail real quick. That's one thing I always forget to do. I check it like once a week, so. Got something in the mail. I think I know who this is from, I believe. Got some bills. We only got one bill, Spectrum. So we got two of those in there. And uh, let's see what we got. All right, let's read the note. Got a little note here. Shout out to Rock and Roll Resale. Man, I appreciate it. He said, Tesla, thanks again for all your great vids. We enjoy watching your channel and your boys are hilarious in the background. Keep it up, Rock and Roll. Brett and Gretch, Rock and Roll Resale. P.S. My sister was born in Louisville. Time to visit. Visit, man. If you ever do visit, let me know, man. I'll bring you up here to the office. You gotta do something, you know what I'm saying? We gotta get back out there, man. You know, it is a pandemic, Bruh. man, so not, don't let me say that, but you know what I mean. Let me know if you have a visit, man. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Oh, tell I don't like this already. I haven't even seen it. Look at that. Whoop, ow. Oh, wow. A Wilson All-Pro Football. It's the Emmett Smith edition. Emmett Smith All-Pro. You already know where this is going, man. Emmett Smith was my guy. That I grew up in the era, 90s era. Anyway, y'all want to hear me babble about that. Hey, man, I appreciate it, man. Y'all know me, man. The Cowboys, uh, what you call it? The Cowboys collage is coming together. You know what I'm saying? What should I call it? What's that when you get a bunch of stuff together? What you call that? I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, it's coming together, and I appreciate it, man. This will go beside... I actually have another football somebody gave me, and this is going to go right beside that. Rock and Roll Resale. I appreciate it, man. Bruh. I think this is a little bit more than 0 0.6 inches. Can't never stretch the weather. All right. Didn't want to leave y'all hanging out to dry. Sorry if the background is noisy, you know. It is what it is. Anyway, decided to stop at this Goodwill jump in here real quick i haven't really been to the goodwills in a minute i was in the area decided to slide through all right so um first what i've been doing here lately is going straight over to the t-shirts because you know i wear vintage t-shirts i get in there i look through those just the t-shirts for the main part i seen one that look good that one a t-shirt what is that i don't know what i'm looking through every now and then i just you know if something catch my eye i might you know pick it up but i don't really go through each individual piece you see how i'm just walking through I ain't looking at nothing really looking at the shoes up there okay but i'm really going over to look at the t-shirts all right so sorry i had to do this voiceover but y'all know how goodwill likes to play music super loud but it's whatever so i'm looking through and my thing now is university of louisville vintage t-shirts because i'm from louisville kentucky Louisville Cardinals is my team. Throw your L's up. So that's what I look at. And, uh, and I look at other shirts too. Like I was trying to see if that was vintage. It was still a cool shirt. You know, because I wear... I mean, I don't just wear vintage. I don't discriminate. I'm not a hype beast. I like whatever I like. You understand what I'm saying? So I looked through these shirts. Didn't really see too much. Uh, seen that one. That one's for my son. My son likes shirts like that. It was small enough for him. I decided to keep that one. And um, I don't know if it was vintage or not, but it was a cool shirt. He likes the little hint. I don't know why I put it back then, but I know it's at home. What the heck is going on? When am I going to pick it back up? Pick it back up, Dave. There you go. Boom. I picked it back up. Boom. Going to put it over the shoulder. Did I put it over the shoulder? What am I doing? I just looked at that. Come on, bruh. What are you doing, Dave? I looked at that, too. Anyway, this is my process of looking at shirts. Look, there we go. Then I keep it. Put it under the arm, and then I keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? So... Anyway, I just wanted to kind of show y'all my little process. I'm not great. Bore y'all with all of this look through. And, um, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm in this Goodwill. Got a bunch of t-shirts. Uh, mainly for myself. I've been kind of getting in here lately to wearing just regular t-shirts some vintage some just nice graphics on them so 
mainly for myself. All right, look, let me just do that in there. I can't be in there getting a copyright strike. I walk over here to the linens, you know, over where all the blankets and stuff like that is, sheets and things like that. And I ran up on this bad boy right here. And believe it or not, you can find some gems over here in this area. And I found this Con Mara, whatever it's called. Um, it was blue, pattern looked nice, so I pulled it out and decided to look it up. You know, when you see stuff like that, what has that, you know, looks out of the ordinary, look it up. You know what I'm saying? Got to look. Boom, and it automatically appeared on my phone when I did that. Ain't that crazy? 140, 70, 49, 55, 15, 45, 39. I was like, okay, man, I can't find the blue, but look, you selling for some good money. You only 4.99. Guess what? You're getting picked up. So I put it over the arm and I keep it moving. Believe it or not, man, this right here is where I find a lot of my big money purchases. No, I don't need you. I can record myself. <laughs> Alright, just a couple, man. I got Star Wars. A lot of these are just personal for myself. Uh, some of them I might say, who knows. A nice little Star Wars piece. This right here is the Louder Than Life Tour. It's 2016, but believe it or not, I looked it up on eBay and people are paying money for it, man. It's crazy. People love these tees. But it's, and it's only in 2016. Um, nice little hit, which I think, Cam, I think I got this for you. You got a nice graphic on the back. And a Muhammad Ali piece. It's 2016 too, because 1942 to 2016. But it's nice, man. I'm wearing this. I might wear this to Mexico right here. <laughs> a nice vintage Louisville embroidered starter shirt for myself. And another starter piece. I mean, another piece that I got for myself. So, yeah. Oh, and also, I don't think I showed y'all what I got from the Goodwill last time. Um, right here, a Keytronics keyboard sealed. I got that listed on eBay for about thirty something dollars, and I got a bunch of vintage pieces. Look at this! Look at this! Some Mick Ferguson, which I think I'm gonna do some of these. Y'all know I make socks and shirts and stuff. I don't really make shirts. Socks is my bread and butter, but I always wanted to get some single stitch shirts like these right here. And um, there's places where you can get old vintage graphics. Like any of y'all watch Part Time Picker, he found a bunch of them uh, in a haul one time. But they sell them on eBay all day. And I wanted to actually buy some of them and actually put one on a vintage shirt to see how it turns out, man. I think that'd be pretty cool. I might do it in the video. Let me know if y'all want to see something like that. So I might keep these shirts for me and do a little project with them. It's a pack of three, single stitch, nice, my size. So that'd be nice. I used to wear these back in the day. Bring back memory. Should I keep these too? Rock those? Nah, those is going. Bruh. And these JC Penny shirts. Uh, I believe these are double stitched though. But uh, people just love the old vintage stuff. I actually got me a this. This might be a personal use, which I think my Phillips electric one is better than this. But I thought I'd give this one a try as well. Can't have too many toothbrushes. Got to keep them teeth clean. And about this man. Do you? What is it? You gotta show them. Where's? I'm about to show them now, cuz. Cuz. Right here. Cuz I be spitting more games in a mouthful of poker chips. <laughs> Some poker chips, man. Y'all don't know. I play poker, me and my friends sometimes. He has, my fact, I had to work this weekend, so I couldn't go last weekend. But uh, we go to his house, and well, of course, COVID, we can do anything. But he had his first one of his house just for a couple people. Uh, kind of spread out, and um, I couldn't go because of, uh, I had to work. But you can never have too many chips. I actually sent him a picture of this and be like, hey man, ten dollars for this. He's like, get it, bro. So I got it. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, I got that. That's another personal buy. I think I've been buying too much stuff for myself. All right. Um, with all that being said, it's a mother search too. I didn't show you that I got, but yeah, I ain't into that. But all that being said, that's about it. Is that about it, Cam? Is that about it? Yes. I gotta get you a haircut, boy. Huh? And y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all be good. Peace.